Hello and welcome to my online video. In this video, I will show you how to execute guided healing. When automatic healing fails to resolve all errors, interactive or guided healing is required to remove all geometry defects from the model. So let's import our example model into CAD Doctor and begin. If you recall from the last video, all the errors in the model are listed in the box on the left. It tells you the type of error, how many errors there are in each category, and its severity. Since CAD Doctor automatically sorts these errors from most to least severe, it's good practice to start by fixing the first errors and then working your way down the list. So in this case, we'll start with the error labeled crease surface. When I click on crease surface, all the crease surface errors are displayed. When I click the magnifying glass, CAD Doctor zooms into the first error and centers it. We could switch between errors of that category by using the two arrows on either side. To fix the error, we are using the navigation panel, which is new to CAD Doctor, and has all the tools needed to heal the model. In this case, since the crease surface error is relatively simple, there's only one tool needed. So I'll click on this button, and CAD Doctor divides the face, healing the error. I move on to the next error by clicking the magnifying glass. And again, I'll heal this next error in the same way I healed the last one. Now that the crease surface errors are fixed, I can move on to the next type of error, which is self-intersecting loop. So I'll click on it, highlighting all the errors, and zoom in with the magnifying glass. Here, you can see that there is more than one tool that can be used to fix the errors. In this case, we'll use the tools one at a time, going from left to right. I'll start by clicking this button, and notice that it was able to fix the error successfully, so we can move on to the next one. Again, the error is highlighted, and I'll start with the leftmost button first. It seemed to fix the error. Also notice that a to the total number of loop with self-intersection errors is going down. So I know that I'm indeed fixing these errors. So then you would keep doing this for all the rest of the errors, but for time's sake, I'll just skip to the next error. The next error is labeled missing face. When I click on the category, CAD Doctor highlights all the missing face errors. I then hit the magnifying glass, and it looks like this error is inside the model. So all we need to do is use our x-ray vision which can be activated by clicking on the box. And now you can see through the outer layer of the model, allowing you to see the error. In this example, the leftmost repair tool does not repair the missing face error. Rather than try all the tools one by one, you can click on the blue guide button for a brief description on each repair method. In this case, we learned that the fill hole button offers the best solution. Next, we'll move on to gap edge and base surface errors. Notice that we're still in display surrounding mode, which is helpful when working with more complex models. This error is referring to the fact that if you look closely, you can see the red edge is not actually on the white surface, and this needs to be fixed. 
So we'll start with the left tool called Fit Face with the Loop. A dialog telling the maximum distance between the edge and the surface appears, and the newly defined surface is highlighted in blue. Then click OK. And just like that, the error is healed and I can move on to the next defect. This video is just a sampling of the many tools available to fix geometry errors with CAD Doctor. As you work with the software, don't be afraid to experiment. You can always undo any operation and try another repair technique at any step in the process.